All right, so we are on exercise number two in the uh, Essential Elements for Strings book, page four. And we are going to start with the one called Let's Play Open D. And Open D refers to the string that you'll be playing. So if you're looking face on at the violin, from your left hand side, the thickest string is called G. The next string is called D. The next string to the right is called A. And then the next string to the right is called E, the highest string. And we're going to focus primarily for the first couple of pages on D and A. So when the violin is facing you, D is the left inside string. When the violin is on your shoulder, it just turns right over. It's the left inside string. So the center two strings, it's the one on the left. Take your thumb, hook it here, put your finger there. Now we're going to look at number one. We've got a blackened note uh, that's a circle um, with a stem uh, connected to it. That stem um, and the note, fact that the note is filled in tells you that it's a quarter note and it gets one count. So I'm going to play along with my metronome. And if you want to search for metronome on Google, M-E-T-R-O-N-O-M-E, -E, it'll bring one right up for you that you can use to play along with if you want to do tempos other than the ones that I play in these videos. For right now, I'm only going to play two tempos. I'm going to start at 80 beats a minute, then I'll play it again a little faster at 100 beats a minute. Try to master it at the slower speed before you jump to the faster speed. Let's play D. D, D, D. Okay, those things that look like squiggly uh, uh, lines, kind of looks like a toupee on its side, that is a one count rest. So we play three notes in a row, three notes in a row, and then we play seven notes in a row. Here's a faster tempo, 100 beats a minute. 